Good morning, allies. A little bit of uh, radio fun. Showing my dad my little radio, and I stumbled into an event. Um, W5I is doing a Dwight Eisenhower celebration for his birthday. So let's see if we can make a contact with them. Big booming signal in this thing. Okay, he's calling CQ, event station, and da, 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 da. let's wait for him. Eisenhower event station, special mm -hmm. event. It's kind of coming, what are you doing, Edison? All right, he is done, and, ah, oh, somebody already got him. W5ZHI got him. The 34th president of the United States. Of the United States. Let's go ahead and pull this guy up, W5I. Let's do a look up on his call. QRZ, Eisenhower Special Event, P.O. Box 642, Sherman, Texas. Nice. Look at it. I want that QSL card. All right, cool. We're going to do this. 20 is in the yellow, which is pretty amazing. No, come on. Don't die on me, band. There we go. We're up in the... Band conditions just went way high. We're the rightmost arrow. Oh, there we go. 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 They're wrapping it up. All right. See you. Throw it out. Throw it out. Throw out CQ. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. CQ. He's calling CQ. I got a jam in there. Bam. Here we go. He didn't get it? No! I don't know what's going on. I didn't... No, nope, I didn't... I did not get in. This is just more incentive on why I need to get my my office going because uh, I would have been able to hit him if that antenna was on the roof. Seriously, just another 10 feet or so up in the air, get away from the, the, the side of the roof of the other house, would have been nailing it. Bummer. Took a look at my antenna, got it uh, tuned it up a little bit. Once I tuned it, bam, got him. Awesome. Done. Thumbs up. So I'm gonna get some QSL cards going right now. I haven't ever made a QSL card or had one professionally printed. But we made that Eisenhower contact and I, I would like to do something nice, um, have something. That way at least have them for anything that happens in the future. So let me see how cheaply we can get this done. There's only one person who's working here right now. I'm waiting a long time to do this. The poor girl is working alone and the plotter, which it's a plotter, uh, they they fail all the time. And that thing was just screwed up and there's a guy in there trying to print out his blue his blueprints. Not good. Holy smokes, I am tired. Uh, I got a little project I'm gonna work on today. I've got this, stop it. I've got this little mono jack here that I'm going to use to connect to my straight key. Oh shoot, hold on, battery's about to die. So here is a swap meet find that I got a while back. The CW straight key. Very old school. See these two terminals here and here? That's what I need to connect a wire to. So I'm going to do that right now. Get this wire. I'm gonna do a very simple job because I just have a bunch of leftovers. Yeah. Leftover wire, right? Cool. Well, uh, the prep work's out of the way. Let me show you my, my little rig here that I've got. Oh, shoot. And this nice little suction cut. Dirty though. What the hell happened here? Suction cut vise, and I uh, use that to hold things like shove him in there and solder to it, right? So, watch this. Something like that. So now I just need to wait for the iron to heat up. So the only problem I have with this key now is I'm gonna need uh, something heavy and wooden to mount this to with those two screw holes. It's not a bad problem, it's just a A problem. <laughs> ah, good. And it's flowing, 
and we are done. All right, now let's do the other side. Good. Flowing has happened. Flowing has been achieved. Okay, I'm gonna do another spot just from here. Flowed. My ant flowis. Okay, so then I just take the ends here, run this plastic tubing back up over through them, like a so. Okay, and the last little bit is put the collar back on. Why is my phone blowing up? So that's all there is to that. So now I have this headphone jack lead, a mono lead with two ends, and these two ends connect to the connect to my key, my CW key. And so if I was so inclined, which I think I am going to be that inclined, I'm going to since I have the soldering iron on and I love to solder everything. I am just going to solder me some end points here so that I don't ever have to mess with them. Crimp heartily. Good enough. All right, so there's my key, there's the two leads. This part connects to my radio, the mono jack. Let's get my radio and see how it works. Interesting. Okay, this is my bad. It's actually a little smarter than I thought it was. So you just have to make sure your, your paddle is connected before you plug it in uh, or turn it on. And that's my fault. So there you go, now we're, now we're good to go. So if I take my paddle and uh, uh, note to myself this switch, I don't know what the hell, I, I thought this was supposed to be on and off, but uh, I actually don't know enough about old keys, I guess. So this is the, if it's on, it just loses its mind, so make sure it's off or open, I don't know. Okay, we're back on, good deal. Cool, that's about, uh, about as good as I expected it could be. Let's turn that down a bit. Anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's do something a little different. I happen to have, I happen to have something from my past right here. What's this? This is a Pixie Mini 40 meter QRP radio. It runs off of this little battery. Let's see if it works still. And let's see what it does. No go. Well, let's see if this battery's dead. It's pretty weak. Um, hmm. Well, that's gonna have to be for another time because I, I don't have any more, I don't have any more nine volt batteries. Nine volt batteries are one of those batteries that like, you never have one when you need it. And, um, but, but you don't actually need a lot of them. So it's like you seldom actually require um, require the battery. Yeah, this little cool little radio I got, um, bought it off of eBay. I think it's from China. It's called the Pixie. It is the Pixie 140117. That's the PCB. But it's called the Pixie. It's a half watt, I believe, radio. Ooh, that's not good. Looks like my, my solder job just got melted or messed up. I'll have to re-solder that. Oh, well. 
we'll save that for another time. Guys, question of the day. It's kind of a, it goes along with those nine volt battery uh, question. What is your most used battery, like that you you have like a lot of and that you always kind of try and maintain and you seem like you never have enough of them? For me, it's it's always double A. It's always double A, then it's triple A. But the nine volt, here's the following question. What is the battery that you always need and you never have it? You just don't know where it is. You don't know where they all went, but it's always gone and you always need it at that dumb moment. And you're like, well, crap, now I can't do anything. Mine is definitely nine volt. All right, guys, post your questions. Post your comments in the comment field below. I am really good. I am so tired right now. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. If you have not already, please subscribe. And I love it if you'd share this on your socials, particularly the good ones like yesterday's. That would be great. Okay, take it easy. I'll talk to you tomorrow. So for tomorrow, Leia has been talking to me about at coming up with the actual production schedule for stuff that we would do on the vlog. So like Mondays, we've got to clean. So I can't really do a full vlog. But So maybe a question and answer would be good. Or maybe a podcast, like a quick little podcast when Leia and I finish the end of the night, kids are asleep and we've got a little bit of time to do a podcast. She's going to help me. It's going to be awesome. Check it out tomorrow. See ya.